Well, hey there, my name is Lori McLean, and I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of two. You know, over the years, RA has taught me a lot of lessons, but I think one of the biggest lessons it taught me was in my working life. So when I was a kid, I dreamt about being in the music business, not as a singer, but in a management or promotional aspect. So when I graduated college, after taking courses that would allow me to do this and entered the workforce, I was so excited. I couldn't believe that I was actually already, at the age of 21, getting to live out my dreams. I thought I'd already mastered life with RA. I'd had it since I was two, and that was 19 years ago that I was diagnosed. But now it had a huge lesson to teach me, and that was to not ignore it. So when I began working in the field that I had dreamt of being in, I didn't want that opportunity to slip away. So. I denied the thing that really was a huge part of me, and that was my arthritis. I figured by ignoring it, that it wouldn't get in the way, that it wouldn't hold me back. Right out of the gate, I was working 12 to 14 hour days. I wasn't eating properly. I wasn't getting rest like I should. I would stop working at about nine o'clock at night and then head out and have a couple of drinks with my buddies. We'd go to the bar, listen to some more bands. I'd get home at about two o'clock in the morning, sleep for a couple of hours and get back up and do it all over again. I was becoming more and more stiff with each day, having more and more pain. My joints were swelling up. I was losing mobility. I was really on a crash course, but I kept choosing to ignore it, skipping meds, skipping meals, only running on a couple hours of sleep, sitting at my desk for hours upon hours at a time. I couldn't have been making any worse decisions than what I was. Finally, my body gave out and I went into a huge flare. I woke up one morning and I could hardly stand on my feet. I knew immediately what was going on. I was in a flare and it was going to be a bad one. I called my employer. I told her what was going on that my arthritis was causing me issues and I probably wouldn't be able to come into work for a couple of days. Well, that couple of days turned into a week. I had to go on prednisone to get the inflammation to go down. And I really was faced with changing my life. It didn't mean that I had to leave the industry that I was in love with. It just meant that I had to pay closer attention to my arthritis and that I had to listen to the signs that my body was giving me. So I took a look at what I'd been doing. I realized first and foremost, I had to cut my hours back. I couldn't work 12, 14 hours a day. If I did, it couldn't be day after day after day. So I started working from nine to five and would only go out on the weekends. I began developing a routine in the morning. And that routine consisted of getting up about 45 minutes before I had to, so that I would have time to loosen up and just ease into the day. I start with a hot shower, then go and grab myself a really good breakfast. I've been skipping breakfast all along and that was a big mistake because when I skipped breakfast, that meant that I delayed taking my medication. So I wasn't taking my meds till about noon or one o'clock when I would finally eat something. And when I was at work, I started taking breaks periodically. Now for me, that meant getting up and walking around every hour, hour and a half because most of my work at that time was being done on a computer. I also asked my employer to help me get an ergonomically correct keyboard, something that would work for me. At that time, mouses were all pretty much the same, but I was able to find a bigger, fatter, chunkier mouse that fit my hand better. I started eating a good, healthy lunch every day. I made sure I didn't skip it. And that often meant that I would make my lunch the night before so that it was ready in the morning. And when I was done work, I would go home and I would decompress. It was around that time that I started meditating and I found it helped with my stress so much. I still do it to this day. You know, it was really in making those simple changes to my work life that I felt like I was in control of my disease and my body again. And now I'm self-employed and it's the best thing I've ever done. I love working from home. I have a YouTube channel and I create videos for other folks with RA. 
I take my 40 years of experience and share the things that I've learned, the lessons I've learned, and hopefully inspire others. But you know, I have to be honest, I can still get totally devoured by a project and lose all track of time. Before I know it, I've been sitting at the computer again for four or five hours. But I recently was told about a new app called My Arthritis. It's really awesome and it's easy to use. First off, it's free, which is fantastic. It's available at the App Store on Google Play. You can input what your pain's at. You can track what your eating's been like. You can track what your mood is like. And you can also track what your stress is. The other thing that I love about this app is that you can set reminders to take your medication. And if you're in the UK, what's really, really great about this app is that your doctor and your team can access and see what your stress has been like. They can see what your sleeping, eating, and pain have all been at. It's a really great tool to include in your self-management kit. Now remember, this app is not meant to be a standalone treatment option. It's meant to be used as part of your overall plan. So that's what I learned 20 years ago, right out of the gate at my first job. I hope my experience helps you and that you can take some of those things and adapt them to your work life to make your day go better. And if you're interested, check out my YouTube channel. It's called Aria Raw and I've included the link. Thank you so much. Everybody have a fantastic World Arthritis Day. Bye for now.